What's up, everybody? AJ here, host of the Madden NFL 12 podcast. And this is an excerpt from this week's podcast, which you can download right now on iTunes. Be sure to subscribe, leave us a comment, and rate it for us. Enjoy. As far as this week goes, 400 transactions, lots of uh, updates, player rating adjustments, and depth charts. Um, let's go on to some of the big uh, movers on the positive side. Charles Tillman, uh, all the way up to an 88 overall after a two-point boost after having a great game. On Sunday, Andre Smith, uh, first-round draft pick, Cincinnati offensive lineman, finally starting to live up to that potential. He goes up two to an 81. Uh, my cousin Denarius uh, D. Moore <laughs> out of Oakland. I mean, he was on fire He's, Thursday he seems night. To be Carson Palmer's new favorite. Target. Oh, I, hope, I got him in so many leagues too, yeah. man. I, ju- I jumped on the bandwagon early at preseason, and I've been waiting ever since. So He's getting a four-point boost. After just making spectacular, spectacular catch after spectacular I, catch, I jumped on the bandwagon after he seemed to be getting a lot of targets and chances when uh, who's it? Jacoby Ford was out. Ford was out, but then Hayward Bay started. To I know, come and along. then Hayward. So I dropped him and picked up Hayward Bay, yep. and that has not worked out for me since Carson Palmer became the starting quarterback. They look like they have something special going on. So you know, I'm I'm all aboard the Demore train. Uh, Andre Carter, after four and four and a half sacks on uh, what was that Sunday Night Football against the Jets, he goes up three points to an 88 overall. It's a Patriots franchise record, right? Single game. Oh sacks. yeah, I mean, he, shoot, he was flirting with the you know what was the the Derek Thomas seven game seven sacks uh, in, in a game record. Uh, Chris Harris, DB out of Denver, slot slot uh, nickelback nickelback out of Denver, going up four points to 69. Nice. Jeremy Mincy had two and a half sacks, goes up three. And uh, finally, for the up for the increases, Patrick Willis, uh, welcome to Club 99. Nice. You're 99 Thanks overall now. What uh? What about Michael Bush? Did Bush go up? Michael Bush. Let me see. I think he did. I have to flip through all of our paperwork. Michael Bush goes up one point to 78. Yeah, I saw some people were, were were wanting to see him up a little bit higher after he's carrying the load here in Oakland for McFadden, and uh, you know he's slowly and surely getting getting up there. Yeah. I've got one for you. What about uh, Cowboys wide receiver Laurent Robinson? He's been a guy that's been on a tear lately. He's shoot, awesome. He's been great in fantasy, and he's uh, really had fil- like thirty points last week. Yeah, he's filling in for Miles Austin. Nice. So he's all the way up to seventy-seven. He started uh, shoot before he got on Dallas. I think he was around sixty-nine. So yeah. he's already gone up seven or eight unknown. points just you know by being a Dallas Cowboy and being in that offense. Demarco Murray now up to an eighty-four overall. Um, as he's well, been crazy. Yep. He's incredible. Felix is coming back as the backup. backup. Jerry yeah, Jones oh, yeah. he's he's not a threat to take many of the carries there. Go with Demarco. Yeah. What um, about what we just talked about? Jacoby Jones coming out of nowhere for Houston while Andre Johnson's uh, sitting the bench. Yeah, we noticed that, and he got he gets a one point boost. We boost up his route running and his uh, catching a little bit based on that big big play against Tampa. I mean, our whole our whole Buck you know Madden team goes to the game. We all lo- load two buses, have free tickets to the game, you know, and all that stuff. It's awesome. First play of the game. We're not even into the stadium yet. We're still tailgating. It's like <laughs> it's the first play of the game, and it's already down six nothing. So what yeah. a. <laughs> And and I can't remember which guy it was from my Browns, either Ruben or Taylor. You gave a nice stamina increase to. Yes, where is this at? Stamina. I don't know where that is exactly. I can't stump find that. Stump the czar segment. <laughs> yeah, stump the czar. I, I'm, I'm filling in my paperwork here. Well, I have a cheat sheet. I get to look at it before I post the the roster update blog. But I saw one of them went up like seven or eight points in stamina. It might have been Phil what Taylor. What does that do to the overall stamina? Stamina doesn't do a whole lot to the overall, but it definitely. I mean, it's a. It determines literally how long you can stay on the field based on you know number of plays run in a row, uh, no huddle offense. For Madden, um, it means like you want your guy will be green, and you start to see him right, fade out to like the yeah. yellow. When they become green. fatigued, literally what that means is like their whole all of their ratings are getting tanked, and they're they're slower. They give up on the play, and, and they get hurt. You literally want them off the field once they get to that point. And it so. kind of makes the difference between a, a starting player and a bench player, correct? Like. Yeah. Bench players are generally less stamina, correct? You yeah, can I mean, bring them in a different situation. There's there's some there's some bench players that that have really good stamina and they're known for being able to play the whole game and and, and play a lot of snaps. So it's not necessarily that's a starter bench thing, but it's definitely a characteristic you see in a lot of running backs. A guy like Brandon Jacobs, he's got a lower stamina versus sure. you know your Bradshaws and your guys that can carry the ball thirty times a game. Those guys we we tend to give higher stamina ratings to. Um, on, on on terms of the uh, negative side here, the biggest uh, movers are Derek Mason going down to an 80 overall, losing uh, two points. Cornerback Lito Shepard, uh, who is getting burned by rookie Vincent Brown uh, Thursday night football, goes down two points to a 70. Cullen Jenkins in Philly, he's going down two points. Deshaun Jackson's going down to an 87 overall in Philly, and finally Ramon Foster in Pittsburgh goes down three points to a 73. Ouch. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, this week, big week for the Niners, 11 players who get increases, and it's a bad week to be a Buffalo Bill. Four players all going down. Man, has a team fallen that much uh, that you guys can remember? 
I mean, the Lions, no offense, Jenica, but they don't look awesome right now. But right now, the the Bills have just like just yeah. fallen off. It crazy. was uh, you call it the New York Giants, right? That's how the Giants have been over the past few years. They yeah. start out like six and one, end up seven and nine. <laughs> like Plax's year that he ended up going off the team, they were like what ten and one, and then they didn't make the playoffs apart, or yeah. something. Well, this week would be a total sign when they go down to Miami. Yeah, this is a game they have to win. I yeah. mean, I've talked to some of the Bills fans on our team. Patrick Belanco, who's a diehard Bills fan, he says it's over after this game if they don't win. He's mailing it in the rest of the season. There's no point to even tune in because if you can't beat Miami, you're not going to beat anybody. If he doesn't, I mean, did did Ryan Fitzpatrick outsmart the entire Bills organization with that oh, yeah. Harvard oh, education? Oh, did he not, man? That's a I want $60 million guaranteed. I'll just, take 24 right now. <laughs> when you're lining up C.J. Spiller as a receiver and he's dropping the ball like that, and you, you know your team is, you know, they had some They're injuries. They're up to fatigue. So they were, and, they and were injuries. They were they were trying some different things. I think in their lineup. I mean, Fred Jackson has been the cog of that that offense, and he's starting to sort of slow down a little bit. He's turned the ball Stamina's over. Stamina's going down. Fumbling. He's and we're removing his carry rating down as a result. But uh, I, I don't know. I think I, the Buffalo has to win this. We'll, we'll get to our picks and we'll see where we all stand it's on a, it. It's what happens. So you get a guy like David Nelson who's perfect at a certain like number two or number three. Who but really guys likes get his hurt. girlfriend. Yeah, who, <laughs> yeah, he does. Why is that? I, don't, I mm. missed, missed that one. Oh, you were at the game. Well, David Nelson, when he scored a touchdown against Dallas, his Dallas girlfriend Cowboys is a cheerleader. cheerleader. So he ran down yeah. the sideline all the way to her and handed her, down handed her oh, the ball. See, that's what uh, 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 Chris John Ochocinco proposed to, to a cheerleader it's years worse, before. That's better. But David that was, Nelson. And but I don't think that was real. He mock proposed. David Nelson is being genuine with this. That's actually his girlfriend. But he just gave her the ball. And they were down 21 nothing before they scored. But it was like a CBS whole thing. Like They had pictures of them and everything. Everything, and they were so. getting blown out. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was it was kind of <laughs> weird. David, David, come on, you gotta you gotta go, go talk to Ocho. But when you're dating a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, that, hey, now that's you cool. want everybody yeah. to know. Don't get me wrong, that part of it, dude, hat off, you know, tip of the cap, but nice pull. That was just an excerpt from this week's Madden NFL 12 podcast. Be sure to subscribe and download the full version, which is totally free, on iTunes. <laughs>